Welcome back. Today we are embarking on a food journey throughout the vibrant city of Tirana, the capital of Albania and our 24th country for our year-long trip around the world. Today we will be trying some traditional favorites including Bura Territor, Petula, Tavdehu, and so much more. So join us as we dive headfirst into the unique dishes that make up the heart of Albanian cuisine. So our first stop of the day is called Buffet and it is a little cafe where we are starting out with some Americanos for 150 leek and a traditional Albanian snack which is their deep fat fried dough called patula. So it's a traditional dough made of flour, yeast, and then it's dropped into a hot oil to fry up until it's golden brown like you see here. And then it's traditionally served with a side of jam and we also have some feta for a little salty combo with it as well but they are piping hot they smell very delicious and this place has a really cute cozy vibe to it i love the cafe culture here in europe so this is the perfect place to start the day so let's try it it's really hot it's so fluffy and doughy i'm gonna start with the jam looks like a strawberry jam <laughs> So it's not super sweet, but once you add the jam to it, it gives it more of a flavor. Next, I'm gonna try it with some feta. We have a little cheese fork here. Here we go. That gives it a more cheesy dough ball taste. Very good. Not the healthiest way to start the day, but we are going to be doing a ton of walking around the city today. Not only to try a lot of food, but also to kind of see the sights here around Tirana. So I think this is a good start. My favorite days of travel is when we just like dedicate the entire day to going and trying new foods because then we learn so much about the food. We know what to order the rest of the time we're in a country. And honestly, like who doesn't love just spending an entire day walking around eating food? So we are now at a restaurant called Oda and we got two very traditional dishes. The first one is stuffed peppers. So there is rice stuffed in these bell peppers and I'm thinking there's some, oh yes, there's definitely a lot of cheese and some spices and some other vegetables all stuffed inside of this pepper. I'm a huge fan of peppers, so I think this is gonna be absolutely amazing. That is about as good as I thought it would be. This seems like a perfect like little snack thing to bring to like a football game or just something like that, where it's just kind of like a little appetizer. Absolutely delicious. So this restaurant, Oda, is known for all their traditional foods that they make, and the two that we picked out seem to be like great options. So what I ordered is a traditional pie that's made out of wheat flour and we got it stuffed with leek, which is like green onion. You can also get it stuffed with spinach. This is very traditional. We've also seen things similar to it in Turkey. It's got a very flaky crust. It's nice and thin. We got two slices. There's also cheese inside. So very excited for this one. How good. Super tasty, savory pastry, really delicious. You can also grab these on the go. I also love that our meal came with, of course, a whole basket of bread. This is why I love Europe. So next we are on to a dessert, which is called Shen Detli. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that super, super badly. But what it is, is a cake that has honey, eggs, and nuts in it. And based on everything else we've had, I'm sure it's gonna be absolutely delicious. It looks like a very dense, moist cake. Look at that. It looks like the nut inside is walnuts, which I really like. It is just soaked with honey, super moist, delicious cake. Like I said, it was walnuts. It's a really yummy little treat to end your meal. I can already smell the honey just from here. I'm a huge fan of honey. So this cake should be absolutely amazing. I'm less of a fan of walnut, more of an almond guy but the honey in this cake is absolutely delicious so good i'm eating all the crumbs off the plate delicious little place now i think we need to go walk this off okay. 
All right, so we are now at the next restaurant, another traditional Albanian restaurant, and we have several different dishes to try. So first up, I have two different like tomato-based casseroles. The first one is called Tav Dehu, and then the other one is Fergesi. So Tav Dehu is generally gonna have some like ground lamb or ground beef in it. It has, like I said, a tomato base. And then the Fergesi can also have meat in it. However, this one does not have meat. It just has a lot of cheese. There's a lot more cheese in Fergesi. And it looks like there's some peppers in here as well. They both smell and look delicious. The Tav Dehu was brought out sizzling hot, so I'm really excited to try these. So I expected this to be like ground meat because that's why I read it was in a lot of these. However, this is more like a chunk of meat. And I do believe they said that this one was a lamb Tav Dehu. Yeah, that's still sizzling hot. Oops. We'll try the Fergasi to see if this one's not as hot. The Fergasi temperature is just right and it's delicious. If you've been watching any of our videos, you know I'm just like a huge fan of cheese. And so to have like a tomato casserole just jam packed with cheese, that is right up my alley. This is really good. And I'm pretty sure this is only gonna cost us $2. Everything at this restaurant was relatively cheap considering how like traditional it is. And like, like it looks pretty fancy in here. So I thought it was gonna be a little bit more expensive, but for only $2 here, this is a really great dish. Definitely a very lamby dish, still very hot, but it is delicious. I won't lie, my favorite of these two is probably the Fergasi, but again, just because I'm a huge cheese guy and this one is just absolutely packed with cheese. So I'll be trying more of the appetizers that we ordered, and of course, can go without saying, but our meal got served with a nice big basket of bread. So I asked for what is called their traditional salad, and they brought me out this, which looks like a Greek salad to me. We've got the feta cheese, the olives, the cucumbers, the big chunks of tomato, olive oil all over it, and then of course the bed of lettuce, which looks delicious. And then the next dish is a cold soup called Terrator. First time to try the salad, Gotta get a chunk of it all together. Chunk of the salty feta, the cucumber, the tomato. Delicious, refreshing, tastes like a great salad. Next up is the soup. So this is a cold yogurt based soup that has cucumber on it. It also looks like there's olive oil drizzle and I believe a lot of garlic as well, which reminds me honestly of tzatziki, which is one of my favorite foods, but like more of a soup form of tzatziki. We'll see if it tastes like that. It does. It tastes like tzatziki in soup form. Olive oil drizzled on top. Honestly, I'm here for it because I could have just eaten tzatziki with a spoon. I do have to say it also pairs well with the heavier casserole dishes that have meat and cheese and tomatoes and are piping hot. This is a really nice combo to have with it. All right, we have a lot of food to try and try down, so it's time to get to work. So we could not do a food tour in Europe and not grab gelato at some point. So that is how we are ending our food tour tonight. The best part is it is the cheapest gelato we have ever gotten. It was only a dollar and 80 cents for two. So that's an incredible deal. Our time here in Albania has come to an end though, but next we're going to Italy and we have so much planned. So we're really excited to get there and we'll see you in the next one.